Okay, so I've just had a call with one of the members on my program. Um, basically, what we just had was an hour call going through their JLR presentation. So giving feedback on their delivery of the content, doing like mock pre presentation questions and what they're going to ask you after the presentation. And basically, we're just going through, um, writing it up into a document, like the actual steps, um, just so there's, there's like a record because maybe they didn't remember everything I said in that hour call. Just putting it up here so like they can see, right, these are the things I need to do to improve for the JLR assessment center, right? So one of the main actual steps, which you can see here at the bottom, practice 30 times until completely confident and can deliver on autopilot. Basically because from what it sounded like, their presentation, like basically the content was basically there. There were, there were a few minor changes that I suggested in the presentation. Okay, change this bit, add in this bit here, etc. But overall, basically the, 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 the content was all right. That wasn't the constraint. The constraint was the delivery. There were bits where he didn't know exactly uh, what to say or bits where he forgot what to say, um, that sort of thing quite a lot of pausing, ums and ers, that sort of thing. Um, so basically delivery was the constraint of the quality of this presentation. So what's the actual step? How can you improve this? How can you get that delivery on point to exactly where you want it to be by the time you go into that real assessment center? That's why I say practice 30 times until completely confident and can deliver on autopilot. This is basically advice I say for basically everything in terms of speaking. So I actually had another call earlier today, um, hour and a half call again with one of my members from the program. Um, we went through a complete mock interview for JLR, so going through the like questions they're gonna ask you to prepare him for that JLR assessment center. And one of the things he said was like, how do you get so good at talking? How are you able to like speak for so long without like stuttering and all this sort of thing? It's simply a case of practice. Okay, like if you got me like six months ago, 12 months ago, 18 months ago, I wouldn't be able to like speak as well as I can now. This applies for presentations and interviews, okay? So practice, that's like first message. If you haven't already got from this video that you need to practice, okay, then just rewatch the start of this, okay? It's all about practice. So for the interviews, there's gonna be the common questions they're gonna ask you. If you haven't already, I'd recommend checking out this full guide here, the ultimate interview guide, 56 minutes. There's crazy value in this video to do with the group pension interviews. I'd recommend you watch that and that's gonna help you understand um, the common interview questions basically. What are the questions they ask in almost any sort of interview? And also star-based questions, okay? Um, because star-based questions are basically something that they ask in every single degree of apprenticeship interview as well. And I say basically with those questions, you need to know exactly what your answer is, okay? You need to, because they, 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 they come in every interview, you should be ready to just deliver them like that, deliver them on autopilot. But what does that actually mean, okay? Because I've realized as I was typing this, okay, I say deliver on autopilot, do people actually understand what that means? And I was thinking, how can I communicate this clearly? And I thought something, and I know it's like six past midnight, right? But to me, this sounds like a good idea, which is why I'm gonna, I'm making this video to show off this method, basically, for how do you know when you've practiced it enough? Basically, you need to practice it enough until you can deliver your whole answer, literally using 50% of your brain. Okay, because when you have to fully focus on the answer, you're gonna be thinking, okay, what do I say next? What do I say next? What do I say next? Oh, I can't remember which bit's next. Which bit did I say next? You're gonna mess it up. Whether this be like the interview question, the star-based question you have planned, whether this be the actual presentation which you're doing for your assessment center, if you're like fully conscious, like 100% of the time, like thinking about every like next word you say your mind's not gonna be able to keep up, it's as simple as that, and you're gonna end up like messing up or forgetting what you're doing or stuttering and all that sort of thing. It's simply a case of getting to a point where you know it so well, you don't even have to consciously think about it. Like it's a habit, like you can literally turn off 50% of your brain and just do it like that. You can do it on autopilot. Here's the hack for seeing how you can do it. You need to practice these interview questions or presentations until you can deliver them perfectly whilst on your phone. Okay, maybe this sounds a bit stupid, but trust me, I'm literally gonna give you an example of this. I'm gonna show you it right now. If you try this and you get on your phone and you start going on your phone and you can't give the answer, back to the drawing board, you need to practice, practice that interview question another 10 times. Practice that presentation another 10 times, right? Because if you can't do it on your phone, it's because it's still requiring your brain. It's still requiring you to think, okay? this uh, You're not gonna find this advice anywhere else. I'm, I'm genuinely saying you need to practice it so many times that it becomes part of you. It's like a habit, like you don't even have to think about it. I'm going to show this right now. Okay, so let's say what I'm going to do is, shall I, I'm going to pull up like 
like my YouTube feed, right? And I'm going to start scrolling down, like looking at thumbnails, all that sort of thing. Maybe someone's got some like community posts, that sort of thing, read them. And I'm going to do that whilst also trying to give an answer to an interview question. Like, this is the first time I've done this. I don't even know if this is going to work. Um, but this is basically like, the last time I did interview questions was like nine months ago, like nine to 12 months ago. So we'll see if this even works. But if it does, it's going to prove my point here. Okay, so the question I'm going to answer, what question should I answer? Okay, tell me about a time when you've worked as a team. I'm going to be on my phone scrolling and I'm going to try and give this answer right because 50% of my brain is going to be occupied on this phone and then it's literally like the unconscious like 50% of me which is going to be given the answer okay so let's try this live and we'll see what happens okay so I can give you a time when I was working as part of a team and basically uh, it was on DRV it was gold DRV and we woke up for the final morning to go along a mountain ridge and basically um, the fog rolled in and the visibility go went from like just being able to see everywhere to only being able to see about 10 meters around us. We started walking for about half an hour. And then eventually the person who was navigating us um, basically said that they were lost and that we were off the path. This is when a few of the group members started panicking. This is where I stepped in to, um, to comfort the team, help them talk to them, say it's okay, um, that we weren't going to get lost, we were going to be absolutely fine. And this is where I took charge and like I delegated the roles. I said, okay, you do this, you do this, let's work as a team, we can work on this. Rather than having one person on the map, let's have multiple people map reading, checking each other to make sure we don't make a mistake. And eventually by doing that collaborative approach, it meant we noticed like the error that the person had made, and then we could get back to the footpath. And then what happened um, was when we were on the footpath, it then started raining, and then we noticed signs of hypothermia. Quite a few members of the group wanted to keep going just so that we could get to the end and finish that. Um, but I decided that the most important thing um, was that we stopped because safety is really important. Um, so we stopped, did the hypothermia procedure, uh, which involved like setting up the emergency kit, the emergency tents. I went round and I made sure that we... Um, change all the baggage and what was in each bag so like one person didn't have to carry loads of stuff um, and we like split up the bag bags and then eventually once that was all done we continued with our expedition now that we'd worked as a team to split the baggage so not everyone was like carrying, one person was carrying the heavy stuff and then eventually uh, we completed the expedition on time got out of the storm all that sort of thing and then we uh, complete the expedition okay that it was a bit dodgy, okay, for me that that was a bit, it was a bit ropey, but we got there, okay, so for me, having done, like, doing this, like, my last interview that I did, I think, would have been in June 2023, so nine months ago, basically, my last interview was nine months ago, before I would have, but, like, thinking about those questions, and I could basically mostly do it on my phone, like, that was probably, like, 80%, decent like obviously there were bits where I like messed up and like the story probably didn't make sense like the answer I just gave I'm not recommending that as a model answer because like it wasn't perfect but just sort of see where I'm coming from I was able to I was, I was like reading through here like someone someone one, one of the YouTubers had like you know on the community post you can have a poll I like literally read that poll and like clicked <laughs> clicked on it um to vote um whilst also saying that out loud that is basically what you want to aim for, okay? It's a bit of a wacky tactic. You've probably never heard of this before. I don't think anyone's going to say this, right? But if you want to really get to the top level of doing these interviews and presentations, the hack is basically being able to do it unconscious, being able to do it without thinking, being able to do it with literally 50% of your brain switched off, right? Because it's just, it's, it's very difficult to do it when... Every single line, you're constantly thinking about the next word. Okay, what was the next thing I said for the bullet point? What was the next thing? What's on the next slide? What's on this? You're going to end up stuttering. You're going to end up messing up. And basically, just the less stuttering, the mess, the less messing up you can do in your presentation, the cleaner it is, the more marks you're going to get because it's better communication, that sort of thing. So I'm really interested to see what people think about this. Um, so if, if you actually try this technique yourself, um, like you start doing this on your phone and you literally completely forget what you're saying, that's a cue. Go back and practice the question even more. And maybe you'll then come to your phone and you'll be able to literally scroll on your phone like 
maybe even like YouTube's too easy. Go something like Instagram Reels or something. Scrolling up and down that, looking at the reels, like the, the subway surf or like the GTA car, like flipping over or whatever they do in reels these days. Go through those and see if you can do the question. Comment down below if this works for you. If like it helps you show whether you know a question well enough. Like if you know a question perfectly, you can do it um, while scrolling. Perfect. Love to hear what you think. Um, hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that helps you and gives you a bit more clarity on how much you need to be practicing these presentation and interview questions if you have any questions then you can join my community it's top link in the description have a great rest of your day